Hi, this is Neil from Pro Tools PC. Today I'm going to show you a first look at the new Waves Abbey Road Studios Reverb Plates. So what I'm going to do now is give you a quick run through of an audio example. I've got this backing track here. It's an electric guitar and a vocal and I'm going to put the plug in across the vocal. So first I'll play you the track dry so you can get an idea of what that sounds like. <laughs> So there you go, and what I'm going to do to start with is just select out an area to loop. I said, come okay, so to begin with, I'm just going to put across a, a quick preset I drew up, and I'll have a play around with it. I said, come not enough. Just my dose. I said, Come a dose, not enough, but so close. Maybe I should adjust, adjust my dose. And you agree straight away that has a massive impact on a dry vocal. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just go through the plates and um, before I do that I'll quickly show you this graphic that happens. If you click the transducer in the middle you get a bit of a wave indication of what's going on and how the sound radiates out and hits the, trans and hits the uh, pickup from the transducer. Click it again and there's a Another kind of representation of that. But let's go through the plates. So close. Maybe I should adjust, adjust my dose. I'll turn that up a bit just to make it a bit more apparent. really quite different those four so it's true what they say you know no no two are any different um it's really quite surprising b and c uh, seem a lot less reverberant uh, with these current settings than than a and d which is really quite interesting what i'm going to do is just uh, demo the damper here now I said, Come Well, 
that damper can really make a big difference and make it sound quite cavernous. Um, so great control. Let's try with some treble boost. Quite a difference. Those S's. Although it's only a treble control, it has quite a lot of uh, range on it actually, so it's quite must be quite a gradual curve because uh, it makes quite a difference on the mid range, which is quite interesting. And um, let's see what the bass cut does. I said, Not quite so apparent with the bass cut, and that's probably because it's a vocal with not much low end in there. So uh, some experimentation with some material with low end is probably in order. And let's go through the pre-delay and the drive. I said, Massive amount of difference between those different plates and the amount of pre-delay. Uh, so that's really quite interesting. And you can obviously go crazy with it. I said, probably uh, sit there and work out what the uh, delay time is compared to your tempo to get something rhythmic going on which could be useful um, let's just go through the drive Just a child. 
can certainly hear a certain amount of thickening going on there uh, with the drive, which is good. I said, Don't know if we're going to get to hear much of the analog sound. So you can hear some quite subtle distortion there and thickening with the drive and the analog sound, which could be useful to fatten things up a little bit. So yeah, it's it's all quite quite interesting and it's very smooth, very, very smooth, and I guess that's why people like them. Even the difference between A, B, C and D, um, A and D sound the least subtle of all, and B and C are amazingly different, actually. So... Um, it really is worthwhile having all four because they totally, totally different tones. Obviously, I've just showed you only on a vocal track here, but there's so many things that you could be using uh, these plates on. There are a lot of presets in the preset menu for all kinds of things, acoustic guitars, drums, electric guitars, effects, keyboards, kicks, um, percussion, piano, snare, strings. I'll just go through the, the vocal presets, but um, there's so much variation here and so much control that you could spend ages and go through all different kinds of source material. So apologies, I'm only showing you a vocal here, but um, I think you're going to have to download the demo and try it yourself because we'll be here forever otherwise. I said, come not enough, but so should adjust, adjust my dose. I said, come a dose, not enough, but so close. Maybe I should adjust, adjust my So hopefully that gives you a good idea of the kind of sounds that the Abbey Rhodes plates can give you with a male vocal. But I really think you're going to have to try this out on all kinds of different material. It's one of the most exciting reverbs I've uh, I've come across in a long time. So I'm a little bit lost for words, to be honest, because it sounds so good and so smooth. It really, really is nice. And... Um, I think this is going to be one of my go-to reverbs uh, straight away. It's just so good. Uh, so, yeah, please download the demo. Try it out yourselves. I think they're going to sell a lot of these. This is something quite special. As I said at the beginning, I will do a comparison between this and two real plate reverbs, uh, EMT-140 plates, uh, as soon as possible uh, to give you an idea of how close this really is to the original certainly going to save a lot of people a lot of money hope you found that useful 
and please come back again uh, subscribe to our videos come and visit the website uh, www.pro-tools-pc.com sign up to our news blog and you'll get any of our posts straight to your inbox as soon as they are posted or follow us on facebook and we'll post them there as well so thanks for watching and see you again soon cheers <laughs>